Good morning, everybody. Um, this is Mrs. Marple, and we are, um, we've been working on our map skills lately. We've been working on a map project. Um, and so I wanted to, this morning, just kind of show you a little bit closer up what we're going to be doing. Um, most of you have already done these uh, first steps, so just kind of, I'm going to show you again how we created our map and our land masses. We used a cup of rice. And on your white paper that you put your name on the back of lightly in case you mess up on the front, we're just going to pour this rice across our paper. And you can move it with your fingers, but the idea here is that you want to have nice organic shapes. Nothing should be too perfect. And then you're going to be taking a pencil and going around those shapes, trying to stay away from anything that's too smooth or too sharp and angled. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're gonna take your pencil and trace around your rice to create your fantasy map um, land masses. So you can see that I'm going pretty quickly here with Sharpie, just so I can show you a little faster. I'm not going around every single grain of rice, but I'm trying to stay true to where the rice fell. And you can always, like I said, you can move the, the rice around to make like lakes and things on the inside. I'll go ahead and trace this empty space. And then later we can make rivers and all sorts of things in here. So there is one piece of my map. And then when you're finished, or if you wanna redo your rice pouring, all you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your paper in, right? And then you should still have your cup at your table. You'll just take it and pour it inside the cup. We also have the placemat down so that if rice spills, hopefully it'll spill on the placemat. Here's your rice, and when you're done, you'll have your landmass. And then I've got one over here that's pretty little finish on the project paper here. So you can tell that this one took a little bit more time. I wanted to make sure that it was spread out uh, across a good portion of my paper. And you can see I've already started my compass rows. That is required on this project. Um, I have a printout for you guys that shows you how to draw one, if you want to use that one, or if you want to come up with your own, that's fine. I've seen a lot of really creative compass um, drawings already, but um, you're going to need your landmass, your compass rows, and then I've also provided some other printouts for you guys to use. So here's an example of a map that is just drawn from, that I found online, it has a compass rows included. Here is another one from a treasure map um, assignment that I had. You can use the back or the front um, to kind of draw some of these icons and it has some different style of compass roses and different areas um, for your map. And then last but not least, I've got the super tiny icons like cactuses and rock formations, even animals on there that can represent farms or the wildlife that inhabits your, um, your area of the world here. Remember, this is a fantasy map, so nothing has to be realistic. You can have dragons over one area of your land. You can have sea monsters, um, ships, submarines, pirates, all sorts of things are totally fine on this map. Um, you'll wanna draw those icons in pencil first and then go over them in Sharpie. This one is one that Coach has done for us. You can see that he's already added some of his icons. If he wants to, he could always add more. And then today we're gonna be doing um, the marker portion. So that's what I was gonna show you. The first step of this is going to be to pick out a brown. So I have just the regular Crayola brown, but I also have all the skin tone colored brown markers that you're welcome to try on your paper because you may want to have a lighter brown or a darker brown. I can kind of show you on this right here, just how different they are. And this is gonna be our wash for our land mass. So you want it to be a color that you like, because this is gonna be what most of the map is colored except for the water. So I've got a whole range of them and you can just test them out and decide which one you like because once you put it on your paper, you're kind of committed to it. There's not a whole lot you can do to change it. So I think I'm gonna choose this one. Hopefully Coach is all right with that. And I'm gonna draw around the edges of our landmass right next to our Sharpie. And I'm gonna use a pretty wide mark. So I'm using the side of my marker to draw around those edges. And obviously if you've got a super detailed um, coastline where there's lots of little edges. You'll want to use the, the tip and not the side of your marker, but you can see how I'm just going around the edges. I'll also go around any of the edges of um, bodies of water or if you have boundaries marked on your map. 
you can go over those because it will help us create that nice um, contrast that we're going to be looking for. We want to have more than just the edges of our map nice and dark because as we put water on this, we'll find that um, it's going to get thinner and thinner as we go in inland on our land masses here. You can go over those hills. But if you want to leave just the outside edges with this marker, that's fine too. I'm just going to kind of go around the mountains and things here. And it's going to be a really light wash, so we're going to be able to color over this with our colored pencil. And it shouldn't be a problem at all. And then you'll need to go over all your little islands. I should have gotten a cup of water over here, but this is a good start for right now. You can see how I have gone over everything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a paintbrush and we're going to brush right over the top of this marker and we're gonna work our way in so that it ends up looking a little bit like this. So you can see that the areas that are the darkest are closest to the edge of the water. And then as I move in, it gets really washed out. That's what we want. We wanna have that really faded look. Um, I also did it on my compass rose, uh, which is optional. You don't have to do that. Some of you may want it to look metallic or um, something else, which is fine. And then after this dries, we'll do the um, liquid watercolor water for the background for everything else. And then after that's dry, we're gonna start going over it with colored pencil. You can kind of see the details here. So there's a lot of different steps to this, but the first thing we gotta do is get our map drawn like this, and then the icons followed by the marker on the outside edge, and then we'll start to do our wash. All right, let's get started.